guys, welcome to my, my IG page. Um, if you don't follow me, follow me. That's one. Two, um, I know you guys did not think that I was going to end Black History Month without talking about some influential black people. And I'm going to do it Bailey Syrian style while I do my makeup. So, if you like that stuff, let's do it. So today we're going to be talking about Marie Van Britten Brown. She is the inventor of homing security basics. She was born in Queens, New York, October 22nd, 1922. And that's where she was at until she died February 2nd, 1999. In 1966, she patented the idea for the first home invasion. The reason why her husband decided to file the patent for a home security system is because there were like a lot of crimes going on in her Queens neighborhood. She didn't really have anybody to watch the house and she wanted to find a way to watch the house while she was like not completely there, if that makes sense. So she just needed assistance. Oh, I forgot to mention this. She worked as a nurse and her husband worked as an electrician technician. Electrical technician. During this time in the 60s, even in their neighborhoods, even if you did call the cops, it wasn't like the cops were going to come. So she wouldn't be real fast way to like help in those situations. Brown was looking for a way to increase her home security and she needed a system that allowed her to like see what was happening at the front door while she wasn't at the front door. Okay, so the way how her system worked. Three people at three different heights. One at the top for tall people, the bottom for children, and the third one in the middle for average size people. It's an the door. There is a camera, and the camera will go up and down between the people sending images to a monitor somewhere else via a uh, wireless monitor. So it's sending it to like somewhere else in the house so that Marie can see it. Um, other things that um, she had featured was a real estate alarm. So let's say if someone that was a burglar was coming to like do, do something wrong to her or her husband, she could just call the cops. We just press the button and call the cops. So yeah, she wouldn't have to get out of the bed. Oh yeah, that was another thing. She can actually talk to people from that thing cause, um, from the monitor because she had a microphone also installed into it. So yeah, she was able to speak to whoever was out there and call the cops if it was an intruder and if it was a visitor or somebody she invited over. She had a button. There was a button to open the door. Okay. Now that I like I don't even know what the fuck I look like potato. Her and her husband filed for the patent August 1st, 1966 under the name Home Security System Utilizing Television Surveillance. Um, the application was approved December 2nd, 1969. Brown's invention gained her recognition. She won an award of the Scientist National Sciences Committee. It doesn't say what year she they won this award but it does say that they were recognized by the National Science Committee and also the New York Times wrote an article about them December 6, 1969. So basically her and her husband designed a door or a ring bell, a ring doorbell, that's what it's called. So I'm gonna wipe this all off. I'm gonna wipe all this stuff off my face and then I will come back and tell you class the basically the end of the door. Van Baron and her husband invention is still used as well as to this day and it's also the framework for most every single home security company. Um, Van Baron is survived by two children, one whose name is Norma Brown. Van Buren is survived by two children, one whose name happens to be Norma Brown, who's also an inventor and a nurse, just like her mom. 
Come back to one of you like to hear another story about another influential black person in America. Okay. Stories that are not usually told. Thank you for watching and make sure you come back. Come back. Make sure you come back. Um,